The Heat take on the Pacers, 1 p.m. Eastern tip-off. Miami's up 1-0 in the series. Miami's minus 4, totals 214.5. The Pacers are plus 144 in outright win. And if you like Indiana to cover, they're minus a buck 10, catching the 4. I'm 3-0, and my last three NBA tier package plays on patreon.com slash brockpage. I'm also hitting at 64% my last 14 MLB tier package plays on that site as well. For more information on how you can join in on the action, the link for that site is in the description section below. Once again, that's patreon.com slash brockpage. Now the Pacers got smoked in game one of this very series, held to just 19 points in the second quarter alone. Victor Oladipo is questionable today with a gooey eye. The Pacers are in the bottom 10 in the league in scoring, bottom five in offensive rebounding. They're also winning just 42% of their games when catching plus money. They're taking on a Miami squad who's in the top 10 in offensive field goal percentage, top three in shooting the three ball. Jimmy Butler averaged 20 a game during the regular season, seven rebounds, six assists, and two steals. Goran Dragic also scoring 16 a night along with three boards and five assists himself. And of course, Bam Adebayo scored 16 a game, 10.2 rebounds a night, five assists. Bam actually ranked eighth in the league in that rebounding category. Now, Miami's in the top 10 in points allowed, top three in defensive rebounding. They've won 12 out of their last 15 ball games, taking on the Central Division as well. Now, scoring-wise, four out of Miami's uh, last seven games got over the total of 214 and a half. The Heat went 61% to the over for the entire season in all of their games as well. So with all that said and done, give me the Heat minus four in the over 214 and a half in that contest. And before we go ahead and move on, just want to take another quick time out and welcome you to the video. Got some lines and personal leans out for Thursday's NBA basketball action. Happy Thursday to you. The weekend is almost here. Now, before we dive into some more free content right here on YouTube, I just have to quickly remind you that we are once again 3-0 and in our last three NBA tier package plays on patreon.com slash Brock Page. We're also hitting at 64% in our last 14 MLB tier package plays on that site as well. If you want some more information on how you can join in on the action, the link for that site is in the description section below. And once again, that's patreon.com slash Brock Page. Moving on, OKC takes on the Rockets, 3.30 p.m. East. Houston's up 1-0 in the series. The Rockets are the three-point favorite. Totals 225 and a half. The Thunder are plus a buck 20 on the money line. And if you like OKC to cover, they're minus a buck 10 catching the three. Now, OKC's lost five out of their last eight. And they average just 103 points per contest in those defeats. OKC's winning just 44% of their games when catching plus money. And they rank in the bottom 10 in offensive rebounding. Now, the Thunders failed to cover the point spread in five out of their last six conference games. They're also averaging just 107 points per game away from their home court. They're taking on a Houston squad who's led by James Harden, who averaged 34 a night during the regular season. Seven rebounds, eight assists, and two steals as well. Eric Gordon also averaged 14 a night, along with a couple assists. And can't forget about big shot Bobby Covington. That's right, Rocco. He scored a dozen a night along with seven rebounds during the regular season as well. The Rockets are in the top three in the league in scoring on average per game. Top 10 in free throw percentage. They won 63% of their games when favored as well. They also rank in the top 10 in defending the three ball. Now, total-wise, four out of Houston's last five got over the total of 225 and a half. Eight out of their last 11 also got over that number specifically. Meanwhile, OKC on the other side saw four out of their last five games get over the posted total themselves. They also went 80% to the over in their last five games with the Southwest Division. Give me the Rockets minus three in the over 225 and a half in that contest. Next matchup, it is going to be Magic Bucks, 6 p.m. East. And despite being down in the series 1-0, the Bucks are laying 12 and a half points in game two. Totals 227 flat. The Magic are plus 650 for an outright win. And if you like Orlando, plus 12 and a half, they're catching even money to cover. But despite a shocking game one upset, 
this Orlando squad is still completely outmatched when it comes to you know body to body. Uh, they rank in the bottom ten in scoring, bottom five in field goal percentage. The Magic averages 107 points a night, and they won just 25 percent of their games as the underdog. The Magic also went just 48 percent against the spread for the entire year, and rank in the bottom ten in three point percentage. Now Isaac and Bamba are still out for the season. Aminu still out indefinitely. Michael Carter Williams has been downgraded to doubtful, and Aaron Gordon is questionable with a hammy. The Magic have still lost seven out of their last ten head-to-head meetings with Milwaukee, and they covered the point spread in just 40% of those contests. Now, the Bucks on the other side, you know, despite a, a noticeable hiccup in game one, they just didn't show up to play. They laid an egg. It happens. They're still winning 79% of their games when favored. They're in the top three in field goal percentage, top three in offensive rebounding. The Bucks are averaging 119 points per contest for the entire year. They've won 14 out of their last 16, uh, taking on the Southwest Division. And they rank in the top three in defensive field goal percentage. Giannis Anatokounmpo averaged 30 points a game in the regular season. 14 rebounds, 6 assists. Chris Middleton also scored 21 a night along with 6 rebounds and 4 assists for him. Eric Bledsoe also scored 15 a game along with 5 rebounds and 5 assists. Now the Bucks are giving up just 108 points per contest for the season. And when it comes to the total in this one, 5 out of Milwaukee's last 7 games got over the posted total. Meanwhile, the Magic on the other side saw 69% of their games away from their home court this season get over the posted total themselves. Uh, the Magic, uh, one more thing to add about them, they've also gone 70% to the over in their last 10. So with all that said and done, give me the Bucks minus 12 and a half in the over 227 in that contest. All right, next and final matchup for the show, it's going to be Blazers-Lakers, 9 p.m. Eastern start time. Lakers down 1-0 in the series, but despite that, L.A.'s currently the 6.5-point favorite. Totals 228, juice to the over. The Blazers are plus 220 for another upset win. And if you like Portland, plus 6.5, they're actually catching even money to cover the point spread right now. Dame Lillard dropped 34 points in Game 1, 5 rebounds, 5 assists. Pretty consistent with his play all year round as he's uh, as he averaged 30 points a night during the regular season, four rebounds, eight assists for him. C.J. McCollum also averaged 22 a game throughout the regular season, uh, four rebounds, four assists for him. And of course, we can't forget about Carmelo Anthony, who scored 15 a game along with six boards during the regular season himself. The Blazers have won their last five straight ball games. And posted a record of 9-2 straight up in their last 11. The Blazers are in the top three in shooting the three ball. Top three in free throw percentage as well. They average 115 points a night. This Portland club also ranks in the top 10 in defensive field goal percentage as well. Surprisingly, they are taking on a Lakers squad who's successfully covered the point spread in just one out of their last 10 ball games. The Lakers have been victorious in just four out of their last 10 head-to-head meetings with the Blazers as well. Blazers really good success against this Lakers squad. And the Lakers also rank in the bottom three in free throw percentage. They're in the bottom 10 in three-point percentage as well. Rajon Rondo still listed as questionable for the Lakers. Now total-wise, 10 out of LA's last dozen games against the Northwest Division have gone over the posted total. Meanwhile, Portland saw nearly 60% of their games for the season get over the line as well. The Blazers are officially 80% to the over in their last 10. Give me Portland plus 6.5, catching the points in the over. 228 in that contest. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Don't forget to check me out on Patreon. If you decide to get a package here today, just keep in mind we bill you the day you sign up and then the first of every month following that. But most importantly, guys, got to thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. Really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great free information. And with that said, happy Thursday to you. Best of luck to you. And I look forward to seeing you later on today on my website at patreon.com slash brockpage.